I'm here. Are you okay now? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm here at the 66th annual PJ <laughs> Merchandise Show, and I'm here with Joel Freet. That's the right. The CEO of Cutter and Buck. I want to tell a quick story about Cutter and Buck. I was introduced to it in 2014 through a company I was working for, and I, I had, I had other choices, but I quickly fell in love with the brand, the apparel, and I've been loyal ever since. And I can't thank you guys enough for being a partner of mine the past six years. And I'm looking forward to this going much, much further. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, John. Thanks for being here with us today. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Cutter and Buck myself. I've been with the company since I was 21 years old. Wow. So I started, with, I started right out of the University of Washington, came to work for our tournament division, did that for four years, slinging boxes all around the country, meeting the consumers, meeting people all over the world that love Cutter and Buck. And so I've got it really deep in my heart. And so I'm glad to have another fan like you and we're happy to get together today. Thank you. You mentioned something, what the customers are into. Over as Cutter and Buck's evolved, yeah. what have you seen from customers? What have they asked about? What are they trending towards? Yeah, I'd say right now, uh, the big trend is towards lifestyle, is towards, you know, you want a wardrobe that's going to work for you on the course, off the course, on a date, to work, everything. And you've got to have that in your, in, your, in your life. So we feel like we're a really good supplier for that, you know, your whole closet. And so people want that. They want a performance pant they can, that they can go anywhere with. They want a performance short that they might work out in, go swimming in, go to dinner, you name it. They need that. And then, you know, bring in the layers, bring in all that other stuff. These, these, this trend of, of the lifestyle of golf extending you know, through your whole life is really important. And so, uh, I think we're addressing it bang on. It, it's funny you should say that because I actually do that. When I get up early in the morning and I'm heading out the door, this is what I wear. Yeah. And if my wife contacts me at the end of the day and say, let's meet somewhere, let's go here, let's go there, yeah. I don't have to make the change. Nope. nope. And, and what's neat about it, yeah, I'm logo and I'm branded and all the rest of it. But I am comfortable yeah. in what I've got on, and, and, and I still hate to use the word in this term, but I still feel fresh. Yeah. Later in the day, it's right? for real. Freshness is a real is a real challenge. No, you got to so get after that. A lot of the freshness is now coming from renewable fabrics. To mm -hmm. get, I've got a clientele that's into that. What's renewable fabric? What's cutter and buck? doing with renewable fabric? Uh, renewable, what we really look for is we look for you know ways to keep the supply chain really, really clean for us. We, get, we never air freight products for, for one thing. That's a thing that we have as a, as a real testimony to our dedication uh, to it. And then our main thing is to build quality into all of our products so that you know the longer the lasting product, the better it is for the environment, the better it is for yourself, better it is for your bank account, better it is for everything. So longer lasting. So when you're, you know, when you're enjoying Cutter and Buck, you got the brand new Forge Polo on. Yep. You know, you're gonna probably enjoy this shirt for five, 10, 15 years. You know, that to us is is renewable. That's that's having a product for a good long time. Gotcha. So th this is my favorite color. I get the most compliments out of it. Yeah. And as I, I got it's great. this, as I got this <laughs> husky in a, purple, man. I know it. I'm a go, go huskies. <laughs> <laughs> so I get this in, and I compare it to the last order which was probably three and a half four years ago with huh. just some slight fading to the previous one it's still i'm going to call it good as new yeah what goes into that quality I'm, I'm not asking for trade secrets but what is the secret that makes it go that way yeah you just gotta you know we have an incredible design team in seattle you know where we're, where we're based and they're working with mills from all around the world who are working to put that incredibly high quality yarn the knitting the knitting machines have to be top quality always in top calibration we don't we don't say yes to anything that's less than 100 percent perfect so all through the supply chain so let me go with 100 percent. i want to tell a quick story interject sure. along no the problem. way so i can understand it yeah and my clientele understands it because i have this available for you guys to order before the PGA show, I had a, a top 25 golf tips magazine shoot, okay. and I needed to get more tops in. It was time to change some logos. More, th and th more things to wear, thing. yeah, yeah. And I contacted my local rep, Chandler Altman. Oh, man, Can Chandler. we get this done? Chandler's great. He's the best. He's he my is. idol. I started a year after, I started a year after Chandler, so I like, Someday I was the I was the the next Chandler Altman. It was uh, maybe my pride and joy. <laughs> so I've been working for it ever since. So I yeah. I order 
and I get, I said I had to have them in by I believe it was the 19th because the shoot was the 21st. Yeah. And this was around January 5th or so. Okay. And between Fred and Logo Design, yep. Chandler and Fred a Baldwin, of them, that's a Fred is an awesome guy. Yep. It, I literally I asked for him the, the 19th. Everything was approved the week before the 12th, and they showed up at my door the 14th. That's what we try to do. Right. <laughs> and I want to get that across to people that it's just not me asking this is yeah. something you guys do on a regular basis yeah. for those that are out there looking for hey i, I need a tournament shirt or i need a corporate yeah. identity shirt what what goes into that process well we're looking at taking every bit of our process down as quick as possible like as soon as you press send i want to be decorating packing and shipping that shirt as soon as possible so as soon as you ask for that favor and it really wasn't a favor to us we're happy to do it um, you know, we want to we want to be doing that in hours, not days or weeks. So then we get it into our production schedule. We have a two or three day production schedule on our decoration facility in Seattle, Washington, where we have 360 heads of embroidery. We can decorate. We can do heat transfers. We can do logo emblems. We can do lots of different things there. But we're we're quick. You know, we have a two or three day production schedule. Like depending on the time of the year, we're going to get things out to you from when you press send to out pretty much every time in five days. So we're gonna be ready for you. So it's not a special favor for you. That's our normal way of, of operating, our standard operating procedure. And that, that's one of the reasons why I've stuck with a brand so long, because it's not about who you are. It's you treat everybody equal. No, for sure. And it, it's been wonderful that way. You've got some Annika and some other people that just really ambassador the brand well, but I, I'm treated that way. Oh, and I gotta say thank you for that. Oh. What? What can people out there expect from Cutter and Buck in the future? What's the trends? I heard earlier today someone say, you know what, fashion goes in cycles and things repeat. I get it. I think you get that. But I think <laughs> for a lot of time now, Cutter and Buck has broken some cycles. Yeah. What What are we looking for from Cutter and Buck in the future? Where, where do you think you're going? Oh, well, we've got we've got a, a, an awesome new strategy right now with new available now. We weren't we weren't going to call this a strategy outside to to our consumers and such, but we decided on new available now internally so we could accelerate our product development cycle really fast. So now we're developing product every 10 months, and I don't mean every 10 months, we're developing product in 10 months time. So we have a constant flow of new things getting added to our collection. So we're just growing it and growing it. We're stocking that product for a long time, we're carrying it uh, for multiple years. So our, so our buyers, our consumers, they can fall in love with the Forge Polo in majestic purple and they can come back to the same course, they can come back for the same event the next year and we're going to still have that item in stock. So yeah. longevity again is a really big thing that, that is going to matter. Um, so being ahead of the trends, you know, we're looking at, I'm sorry, <laughs> we're looking at, we're looking at fabrication performance, we're looking at, you know, trying to find more ways to use natural fibers, that's a big one, but then giving you a great style, I mean, that's what it's all about, no matter what the era is, it's about giving great style, so that you, John, Gene, I got Monica over there, I got Scott, everybody just looks sharp, they look dressed, they're always comfortable in their cutter and buck all the time. So it's always appropriate, always ready to go, no matter where your life is taking you. So that's a that's a that's that's really our kind of global view of, of where things are going. And then we're seeing more things come in, influences from the outdoor market. That's a big one mm -hmm. right now. Outdoor, a lot of people are getting outside. We're getting into a more and more urban environment where people are, are commuting to work all the time, where where the commute is kind of a, an adventure where you're gonna hop on and off a bus or a train or what, right. you know, in an urban environment. But then on the weekends you're gonna wanna jump out Go, go on the trail, hit the golf course, hit the mountains, hit the ocean, whatever it is you're going to do, you want that wardrobe to go with you all of those places. And Cutter and Buck is an awesome partner for that. And we're thinking like that. Our headquarters are right down on the waterfront in Seattle, Washington. We're on one of the most beautiful waterfront parks in the country, right at our headquarters office. So we will watch people go by our office every day that our design team can go out and look at and say, how are people living this active, new lifestyle? That's a unique atmosphere because in Florida, it's pretty much, it's Florida. Yeah, right? hey. But, but yeah. yet I see in what I'm offered that kind of variety. And yeah. It's nice to see. Lastly, I'm a big believer in win-win situations. Sure. So this has been a big win-win for me. Yeah. What can I do? What can other instructors do, other golf professionals do? Mm -hmm to help Cutter and Buck with that win-win situation. You were mentioning a social campaign that's sure. now there. 
talk to me about a little bit that way so I can help you out. But what are some of the other things that we can do? We have a social campaign that really grew up organically inside Cunner and Buck. We started to use it internally called CB and Me. So the hashtag is CB and D M E, CB and Me. And we're using that to communicate internally, say, hey, where are we? Let's give each other a shout out. That's a great way. So whenever you're wearing uh, a Cutter and Buck item, wherever you are, wherever your adventurous life is taking you, snap a picture of yourself and hit it, hashtag it with CB and me. I don't have long enough arms for this. You know how uh, you, you can do it, John. I've got you a can, stick. You somewhere. can do it, yeah. And even we, we, we're, building, we're building partnerships around that. So we're building partnerships. And so we just like to have an outreach there. We like to see all of our customers and happy consumers you know, in our products and you know, going through their, their awesome lives and so we're just happy to partner like that and uh, just get that kind of shout out like that's a big thing for us is just get a shout out you know wherever you're going I, I did a campaign myself uh, a year ago I wore one of our new shirts the advantage polo which is one of our top selling shirts I wore it for 365 days in a row I built a video around it I posted it and it was fantastic I set out to wear it for I set out to wear it for 30 days and I wore it I just frankly just love the shirt so much and I wore it every day. I even wore it to a black tie gala, which I was not supposed to wear, <laughs> which I was not. I messed up my, my calendar and I, and I got there and they said, you know, this is a black tie gala. And I said, I thought this one was country club casual. <laughs> and I had my polo shirt with one of my little cutter and bug jackets on, but you know what? It, it turned out great. And then, then, you know, I was kind of the talk of the town. You know, I got to, I got to say, Hey, I'm wearing my advantage polo. It's always appropriate, even in a black tie affair. So that's fantastic. Yeah. I, I just want to say again, a, a huge thanks. You guys, over the past five, six years, have been oh, one of the Star Wars for me, someone I can depend on. I'm looking forward to more, and I, I cannot thank you enough oh, you're, for you're, being there. You are so welcome. You are so very welcome, thank John. You. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. I'm looking forward to more. Thanks. Thank you.